My friend Clint has come by today. He's a wildlife biologist at a nearby outdoor education center, and uh, I think he's brought a little friend for us to look at today. What is it, baby bear? That's a baby <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> About a week old. Still got his eyes closed. Where'd you find him at? Well, somebody called me the other night and he said, will you come get this baby raccoon and take care of it? Because I don't know how. And I said, sure, I'll be down there and pick him up. I assumed that he probably got blown out of a tree in that bad weather and drifted down the stream. And It's and amazing, those storms knock down denning trees and animals have to survive for themselves. Look at that, he's taking a nap right there on my hand. Feeding him milk replacer, just powderized. It's you got check, a lot of sugar and carbohydrates. You in check it. his mouth, see if he's got any teeth yet? No, sir, not yet. I'm gonna put him in here and this leather will make him feel all happy. Check his mouth, see if he's got teeth. There's a lot of homemade country recipes. Uh, no, sir. You can work on to get these little baby wild animals a good start. Of course, the secret, you know, is feeding them really often. Not necessarily a whole lot, but really often. Keeps your belly happy, keeps your digestion going. You know, a raccoon is one of the toughest animals out there. Once they get going and get grown up, they can whoop an animal twice their size and climb trees, swim. They can tear apart logs and eat bugs. About midsummer, when the babies are big enough to follow mom around and she's giving them their PhD in foraging, <laughs> when they weigh about two pounds, something like that, she'll follow them and open up logs, wade through creeks, dig holes, and if they're not paying attention, she'll walk back and slap one of them. It's really important to stop trapping uh, on time so that the pregnant females can go ahead and have three or four uh, offspring. Yes, sir. So uh, they multiply really fast, and uh, they're really tough. They're kind of omnivores. They'll eat almost anything once they get big enough. They got a real good taste for crawdads and minnows and fish and sweet things, berries, honey. Now, he's probably a little bit young to be eating the sweet tooth. But if you mix up a little bit of homemade grits with some honey in it, when it gets a little bigger, he'll probably be pretty happy. How many? Now he's crying now, just like a little baby squalling. He's just frustrated. He don't know for sure what he wants. Well, they sure make a racket, don't they? Yeah. It's kind of a cross between crying and purring like a cat. It's okay, buddy. You ever sing to him? Sometimes. Sometimes they need... Shut up, didn't you? See how you, you just gotta act like a mama. You ever been a mama? See, he's all calmed down now. All I had to do is just purr back at him, let him know everything's okay. He wanted to smell something safe and he wanted to hear mama's voice. Look at he's going to sleep now. He feels safe. Keep him warm, keep him safe, take good care of him. Don't forget to take him outside on walks. Don't keep him in the house all the time. No, sir. Sure. No. He's gonna be out in the backyard for a little bit until he goes to the center. Don't forget to start feeding him bugs when he gets just a little bit older. When he gets a little bigger and you know, old enough to fend for himself a little bit, I'll put him out some food and put him in the wild and kind of gradually wean him, put out less and less food so he wanders farther every day and reintroduce him back to the wild. We don't want him to lose the, the skill of foraging. If you feed him too much until he gets too old, he'll get too lazy to forage for himself and he might not make it in the wild. Sure. But when he's a teenager, if you kick him out of the nest, put him in the woods and just put a little food out of it. He can go out and find his own way and when he doesn't get lucky and find something, he can come back and eat the food you put out for him. And when he comes back, just say hi to him and walk away so he gradually trained to grow up. It's kind of like sending a kid to college, you know what I mean? Yeah. So thanks for bringing him by. Raise him up good, treat him right. Don't forget to give him an outdoor education by putting him outdoors. I'll bring him back to see you. Thanks for coming by.